Hi, I'm Michael Byrne, and in this segment we're going to talk about waterproofing. Some of the problems of traditional waterproofing, some of the advantages of surface applied waterproofing, and some of the details that will allow you to build a truly waterproof tile installation. Tile has a well-deserved reputation for being a waterproofing material, but ironically, the grout plays a bigger role in waterproofing. And if the grout is not applied dense, if it is not mixed properly, water will go right through it. So grout is your first line of defense. To back up any moisture that may penetrate through to the grout, we want to put a waterproofing membrane on the wall. Now traditionally, that waterproofing has been behind the mortar bed. And to me, that makes about as much sense as drilling holes in the bottom of your boat. So you get much better uh, results and much better waterproofing by putting the waterproofing material on the surface of the board. That covers up all the fastener holes, the waterproofing wraps around the corners, and it really stops water from penetrating through into the structure where it can cause some damage. Now there's some important details. We want to run this waterproofing membrane on the surface of the board, obviously, but also you want to paint the underneath of this lower edge with the material. And this can be done either before you put the board in or after. The important thing is to leave this quarter inch gap between the top of the tub and the bottom of the board. The membrane will protect the structure from water damage, but to seal the waterproof wall to the tub, we're going to fill this joint with some silicone caulk. Now we have a waterproof tub that's ready to tile. Waterproofing is just as critical on the floor. And the details are fairly similar. Before we put the board down, I painted the edge of the board with the waterproofing membrane. Then we installed the board. Afterwards, we covered the surface with the same membrane. The quarter inch gap between the board and the face of the tub is filled with silicone caulk. Now with floor waterproofing, we want to protect the entire structure, and that means the edge as well. So over here, where we have a one-row tile base, we've lapped the membrane a couple of inches up the wall, and that will provide complete protection for the installation. Remember, the key to waterproofing is in the details. Use a load-bearing, surface-applied membrane. Keep a gap between the tub and the board. Fill that with silicone and upturn the membrane up the wall to protect the entire structure from water damage. I'm Michael Byrne. Thank you for stopping by this waterproofing segment.